Hey what's up guys, welcome back to RPN Hardware, so I've seen a couple of comments asking about CPUs and which one to pick, and with Intel now seemingly being back in the game begs a very good question, should you pick Intel or AMD, and maybe more importantly, what is the best budget gaming CPU, well in this video we are gonna get the answers. Now as always we will be starting up with the cheapest processor first and finish up with the best ones at the end, and to give you a better idea how each CPU performs I got detailed benchmarks to help us out. Now for the latest and best pricing check out the links down below, and with that said let's dive into the video. So for the past few years AMD has been dominating the market with the Ryzen processors, with each new generation bringing important performance enhancement, pushing the frame rate higher and higher, while Intel has basically been sitting stuck seemingly forever, making refresh after refresh on an already outdated architecture, which um, yeah, eventually forced them to drop the prices quite significantly, and nowadays you can actually find a great budget pick from Intel, and that is something that we haven't been able to say for years. And on top of that, the situation has become even greater for Intel with the release of the 12th gen core CPUs based on the Alt Lake architecture. But it should be said, AMD hasn't been sitting on their hands. With Zen 3 3D and even Zen 4 just around the corner, things are looking bright because when these two companies now fighting over our attention, guys. That is basically innovation and competitiveness and its finest, and so if you're looking for a great budget CPU, you actually now have plenty of great options. That all being said, right now Intel does seem to be the winner, but yeah, let's take a deeper look. So let's say you have a strict, limited budget of just $100 to spend on your CPU, what would be your best pick? Well, AMD is used to dominate in this category, however because they're still yet to drop a budget oriented CPU based on the Zen 3 platform below $200, they are currently leaving this category wild open for Intel to dominate, and they are rightfully doing so with a Core i3 10100F for just $90, or the 12100F for $120 USD, and this is much better than any Thing AMD currently offers, sub $200. The Core i3 10100F is a 4 core A thread CPU based on the Comet Lake LGA 1200 socket. And if you're looking to pick up a brand new CPU based on the Rocket Lake or the Comet Lake LGA 1200 platform, this is seriously a great budget platform to consider because of two reasons. Number one, B-series motherboards are wildly available and number two, they are really not that pricey. There is just one thing to keep in mind guys. More games are starting to require at least 6 cores and I would argue that if you're planning on uh, keeping your PC for at least a couple of years, I highly recommend considering at least a 6 core CPU, which you can actually get if you're spending about 40 to 60 dollars more. So jumping to the best budget CPU pick for about 150 to about 170 dollars. For that money you can get the Core i5 10400F or the 11400. The 10400 is 150 while the 11400 is about 167 dollars. Now these are 6 core 12 thread CPUs with high clock speed and both performing fantastic in games. Taking a look at the benchmark starting with the 10400 we see unhealthy numbers across the board beating practically all AMD's budget oriented picks below the $200 mark which is very impressive. Now taking a look at the 11400 you can expect even greater numbers. What I like with these CPUs is the fact that both the 10th gen and the 11th gen supports the LGA1200 socket, and as I mentioned before, these motherboards are quite cheap. For example, you can currently get an 11th gen 6 core CPU and an LGA1200 based motherboard for the same price as the Ryzen 5 5600X, and so yeah, that is crazy value. But what if you got $200 to spend, which one do you pick? For $200 I would highly recommend having a look at the brand new Alder Lake based Core i5-10400. 
Now this is a 6 core 12 thread CPU based on Intel's spanking new 10 nanometer architecture uh, built on the big little concept where you have a performance and efficient cores working simultaneously for better efficiency and performance. Looking at the benchmarks, we see that the 12400 is beating AMD's 6 core powerhouse, the 5600X, in most scenarios. Overall, the 12400 is a beast and it is the best $200 processor that you can currently get your hands on, there is no doubt about it. Now, let's say you're already sitting on an AMD-based AM4 system, you may not be too tempted to switch out the entire platform for a new CPU from Intel. Now, without knowing what exact CPU you're currently sitting on, it is quite hard to make a recommendation. However, I'm gonna give you guys some general takeaways in terms of price and performance. First up, we got the Ryzen 5 5600G coming in at $240. Now, this is a 6-core, 12-thread, Zen 3-based APU that does gaming quite well. However, I would only recommend picking this up if you need an onboard GPU unit, otherwise it wouldn't really make sense to buy it, since you can get the 5600X for just $20 more, which is clearly performing better than against the 5600G, partly due to bigger cache size and higher clock speed. But let's say you have a really low-end 4-core Ryzen system and you're looking at some sort of dirt cheap upgrade and spend as little as possible, my recommendation would be to look for a Ryzen 5 3600 on the second-hand market. Now these are typically going for $100 to $120 and that would basically be your best future-proof upgrade if you're looking for a dirt cheap alternative. Now obviously it is hard to blindly recommend something without having all the details, but yeah, as a general rule of thumb, if you are sitting on a first gen a Focal Ryzen with a $200 budget, it is quite frankly better to sell everything and jump on the 11th gen Core i5 11400 from Intel. Now for the latest and best pricing guys, have a look down below. If you got any questions, please let me know, I will do my best to help you guys out. In the meantime, watch either of these two videos and I will see you guys in the next video.